Arky Marathon Rules of Travel, number two. What's up, fam? Kev thinks we should plan ahead. I choose not to. I just choose to follow Kev. I planned the hell out of it because there's so many times I've been somewhere and it's closed. Or that you need to have a booking, so you're just staring at people and they will just tell you you can't go in. That's so frustrating. Planning for architecture trouble, because they are off the beaten path, so they are very special places. You need to research, and now with internet, it's relatively easy. You can do the research and minimize any disappointments. The great thing, and Kev's very good at this, is plan it tightly, but you've got to leave space for serendipity, for the chance moments. Bump into this little bar or this little chapel along the way. That's actually good planning, is to allow space for other things to happen. Another one is daylight, knowing when they're open and when they're closed, and also knowing when the sun is going to set. So you know you can hit that place at a particular quality of light that you may be looking for.